don't know, I, I low key feel like a CBBS presenter. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing my YouTube friend picks my everything five pounds haul, which I'm super, super, super excited about. I have been waiting for this parcel for over a week and it's just been a long time coming. So if you'd like to see what I got, then keep on watching. But before we get into this video, please remember to like this video because it will really, really help me out. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I make more content like this every single week and hit the bell button to be notified on when I next upload. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. This is the big ass box I received from Everything Five Pounds, which I don't know if it's a little bit sort of smaller than what I imagined. I thought it would be a lot bigger. I don't know why. This is the packaging. It's just got everything five pounds on there. Obviously my address is there, which I'm not going to show you. So before I unbox some of the items, I'm just going to tell you a little bit of, about everything five pounds. So it's an online website where everything is five pounds, but there's also a sale that they do that everything is two pounds fifty on there. So it's like really, 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 really cheap stuff but they apparently like buy stuff from like high street stores like old stock from like new look etc and sell it on there for a cheaper discounted price which i think is really really cool like if you're looking for new clothes but maybe don't have the budget to like splurge on asos or something i think this is such a good alternative obviously i don't know anything about the quality or anything like this is the first time i've ever tried everything five pounds but i'll let you know everything about the quality and the sizing and all that good stuff a bit later on in the video and i actually try everything on the shipping was very expensive I think the shipping was about I think it was about six or seven pounds you know it took quite a while to get here because obviously with the whole coronavirus thing still going on like they had to obviously social distance and stuff when packing and everything which is understandable like I'm not mad at it I've got the parcel so it's all good I think it took about a week to arrive so bear that in mind if you're ordering anything from here at the moment because it will take quite a long time to deliver the postage charge i thought was a bit ridiculous but hopefully it'll be worth it obviously because the clothes are cheaper i guess that sort of adds up in a way i gave my youtube friend who is of course the wonderful jess who is simply saving uk on here on youtube i'll link all her details and everything down below so i picked out her outfit and she picked out mine. We've got like a very similar but also dissimilar sense of style. Like we're both quite grungy. Yeah, she pretty picks out slightly different things to me. Like I'm a lot more daring. So I sent her some pictures of some outfits that I typically wear like on my Instagram, on like my social media. If you have not followed me on Instagram, please do if you'd like to. My name is Izzy Rachel on there. I'll leave the handle up here and also down in my description if you found to give me a follow because I post like all sort of like fashion and beauty sort of content on there as well if you want to see more of my outfits and just generally what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis then Instagram is definitely the place to go. I gave her some inspo and I really am kind of nervous but excited on what she might have done with that. <laughs> so 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 excited to open up this parcel. I'm low-key very very nervous though just because I just don't know what's gonna be in here. It would be right on my street or it won't. I'll tell you quality, prices etc. So we picked like three different concepts for our outfits we picked a lockdown outfit you know just like chilling at home stay at home outfit we picked one that we typically wear out maybe like if we went out shopping just like a casual day out and then the other one is sort of like a mystery outfit so something that maybe the other person would wear but it's sort of like a little bit different for the other person if that makes sense i'm generally so so excited to see what's in here that's just give me sort of like a little bit of a hint on what's in this box but she hasn't told me anything about any of the items apart from the fact that some are quirky and colorful which is actually right on my street like i'm all about anything quirky, anything colourful, anything with a lot of sass, I'm there. I am very, very, very excited to open this box right now. And it's literally just staring at me in the face and I'm just like, I need to open up. 
<laughs> very, very well packaged, I'm not gonna lie. This is a sturdy ass box, so everything five pounds. You've done amazingly on your packaging. Let's put out the first thing. The rustle of the plastic is so satisfying, yet yeah, not at the same time. It's like ASMR. Oh my gosh. I am already obsessed. So this is the first item. Jess has done so well already. I, I, I know I'm gonna love this. So this looks like it's like a green stripey jumper. I'm already obsessed. I am, I'm so excited. As I said before, like I literally haven't seen any of these things. Like I haven't had a sneak peek. So this is my genuine reaction. Oh my gosh, I love it. This looks so cute. Actually, or is it a jumper? Yes, it's a jumper. It's a crop jumper. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm obsessed. This is a jumper from a brand called Retro and Icon. I presume that's how you say it. Oh my gosh, this is cute. It looks like it has like a high neck as well. This would be so cute to style. I love, 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 love the back wins. Back win, bat wing sleeves. Oh, this is so unlike anything I own. I'm obsessed. This is gonna be absolutely rocking. I'm generally very, very excited to know what she has paired this with because I'm already obsessed. Like this is everything. This is very like me if I wanna be grungy. I would not have expected this. I love this already. But oh my God, I love this so much. I'm so, so happy. So she got this in a medium to large, which is fine because this looks like quite oversized and I'm all about the oversized jumper life like I hate sort of jumpers that cling too much to me like I love and love 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 a little bit of sort of puffiness and just feel like it's comfortable and casual you know I love this so so much this looks epic I have to admit I've never heard of this brand before though it feels quite good quality and it feels fairly thin so I'd probably be able to get away with it now perhaps if it was like a bit of a rainier day like it's sort of definitely like more of an autumn rather than a winter jumper but you could definitely layer this up and it would look absolutely beautiful as well I'm obsessed already let's dig into the magical box of mystery clothes again oh So, there's a funny story with this. So this is like, it looks like it's like camo trousers or like a skirt and I'm a bit worried because I already have some. I don't wanna sound ungrateful when I say like, I don't like anything or like I have something similar, but I generally have trousers that are very, very similar to this. Oh, they've got rips in the knee, they're cute. Actually, they, they are sort of a bit dissimilar though. Like, so basically this is a pair of dark green camouflage trousers and they've just got like a little bit of elastic at the bottom. So they're a bit cuffed, which is quite nice. So a bit more fitted and they've got like random rips and stuff. I think this is actually quite cool, you know. I'm gonna have to compare them though with my other camo trousers. Oh, these are H&M. I'm a bit confused. I don't know if you can see that but like the actual label is ripped what what the fuck i don't know why maybe they weren't allowed to sell h&m clothing or something but this looks very much like h&m or primark i cannot find the label i'm on the label hunt and i generally can't find where these are from i just realized as well there's like a random bit of white fluff on them i think it's like it's not from the actual stitching i don't know if you can see it's like actual white fluff that i can't get off and i don't want to yank because i'll ruin them i don't know how to feel about these mainly because i have something so damn similar which i'm so so sorry jess if you're watching this which you probably are I do have something very, very similar, but I think my original camo trousers I have, I think they're like sort of a bit darker, sort of green. But I do love them though, they're, they're really sick, but I have something so similar. What a shame. I might put them on Depop or something, or maybe send them back if I can be asked, just because I probably wouldn't get that much wear out of them because I have something so damn similar in my wardrobe. I still absolutely love camo, and I love camo trousers so much, but unfortunately this kind of way I already have. So we're gonna dig into the box again. What else do we have? Oh, this is different for me, you know. So this is like, it looks like it's like a cardigan. It's got like red and white sort of like striped neck and it's got like gold buttons down the side. Is this sort of like a cardigan or what is the vibe here? <laughs> yeah, it's a cardigan. So this is a brand called Cherry Coco. Never heard of them in my life. No! This is 
a medium to large. I'm gonna be really, really brutal and just say I don't like it. I feel so bad, like anything, like I'm so picky with my clothes. Like anyone else buying me clothes is like a bit of a struggle. Like literally only my boyfriend or my mum can buy me clothes or like some of my closest friends just because I'm very, very fussy. Like there'll be something about it I don't like and then that'll put me off. I'm not sure if this is my sort of thing at all. Yeah, this is just sort of like a black cardigan and it's got like the same white and red sort of striped detailing on the sleeving sleevings on the sleeves and on the hemline and then also on the pockets there as well but look at that on it's something so different for me but maybe i should give it a go what's everyone's verdicts down in the comments i'm generally really really curious please let me know your thoughts i'm a bit torn it's not my style right let's go on the next thing oh hello hello that's me karma for me hating all these clothes me coughing to death so the next thing that we have, oh, this is like a tartan shirt. I'm always on the lookout for tartan shirts and I actually don't have a colorway like this. This is cool, man, I like this. So this is a tartan shirt and it's by a brand called My Polo X, My Pollux. That sounds really dodgy, like My my pollocks. It's in a medium. So I typically take like a 10 to 12. That is usually my go-to. I like this, you know. I love the colorway. I absolutely love tartan shirts. Like the material, it's sort of like cotton, but it's like a bit thinner than like standard tartan shirts that I tend to get. But this would be so, so cute. Definitely like layered up with like docks and like ripped jeans. I think this would look really sick. I actually really love this piece. I love this. This would look really, really cute. Or even just like have like a band to underneath and layer this up with it i think that would look really sick i just realized i think it's a jump a trumpet dress i think it's a tartan dress rather than a tartan shirt am i wrong it looks very very long you'll be able to see from the try on clip anyway it looks like a tartan dress when i said it was a tartan shirt all this time it's a tartan dress even more my vibe definitely i'm obsessed man this is so cool this would be awesome with dogs this actually is low-key probably my favorite things in the hall as well as the jumper at the moment but this one probably tops it i just think this is epic i love this i think this is so so cool let's go in the big box again let's see what we're gonna pick out so this this is a pair of shoes, I'm assuming. It's in just like a little shoe box like this. And the brand is called C and M Paris. C that. What is that? <laughs> oh, what is that? Apostrophe. Yeah. <laughs> C apostrophe M Paris, no idea who they are. I am um, standard UK size six in shoes. <gasps> you need to see these. These are cool. Oh my gosh, she has come out with the shoes. So these are a pair of red and black sort of striped heels and they just got like a bit of silver on them. These are really cute, you know. I hate like when you have like stilettos because I'm like five foot seven, I'll literally just topple over and be a tumbling mess on the floor. But these are a bit chunkier and these would be so, so cute like going to dinner or like my birthday's coming up in two months. These would be cute to wear. They've just got like little straps. These are cute, you know. I actually really dig these. I'm not a big heels wearer. Like I barely wear them unless I'm going on a night out, which is pretty much never <laughs> anymore since uni, my party days are gone. Or if like, like there's an occasion, like obviously wore heels for my graduation, stuff like that. So I could definitely probably find like an excuse to wear these because I mean, my god, they are just so beautiful. Maybe you'll actually convince me to wear heels again because I haven't actually worn heels in a bloody long time. I'm lucky excited for these. I think these are definitely not what I'd usually pick. I love them. These would be styled up so cute with like, I've got like a black jumpsuit that would actually be really cute with this. Just like for a low key sort of casual sort of thing without being too in your face. Isn't usually me, but <laughs> maybe if it was like a bit formal, I'd probably dress up in something like that. Oh my gosh, these are cute. I love, love, love these. These are a bit of me. I need to wear heels more so I can actually wear these because these are goddamn bloody beautiful. Let's dig in here again oh my god what is this oh my gosh so it's like a jacket and it's by a brand called g d g d g actual actual i don't know if you can see that very well but this is a 10 to 12 i don't know what to think about this i think this might be a little bit too over the line in terms of quirkiness i mean i don't know i can't Loki love it though. It's just got this like, I'm guessing just like faces. It's not emojis, it's sort of like faces print all over it. And it's just got like cuffed sleeves and big buttons. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know, man. I, 
I don't know if I love it or hate it. It's a very sort of Marmite piece, I think. I can do quirky, but I don't know if this is a bit of me. I don't know if this is a bit of me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Maybe once I actually try it on, I'll think differently. But I don't know, this is something I wouldn't usually go for. Like, it's just a little bit out there. But the material is sort of like in a dark sort of, I'm guessing black. Yeah, black or navy. I think it's black though. Oh no, it's navy. <laughs> it's a navy sort of like heavy cotton and it's quite a versatile sort of piece. I don't know if it's a bit too daring, but I sort of low-key love it. I don't know what to do. Please let me know in the comments whether or not this is a good option. I don't know what to think. <laughs> so please let me know down in the comments whether you love it or hate it. But this is just in a size 10 to 12. So it's my usual sort of jacket size. I like jackets a little bit oversized, a little bit chunky. Let's see what else we have in here. <laughs> oh, we've got one more item. So this is another pair of shoes. <gasps> Oh my god. Right, okay. <laughs> so this is a pair of shoes by a brand called Jumex Collection. Is that right? Jumex? Jumex? But this is what I saw when I first looked inside. I said to Jess, I was like, I really low-key want a pair of chunky trainers. These are cool, you know, they're just sort of like white platforms. I don't own anything like this. Let's get it out of the bag. <laughs> you cannot see anything in the bag. But these are the shoes. They're just like white platforms. They look kind of big for a size six. <laughs> I think they're gonna look huge in these. I low-key love these. Oh my gosh. I actually love them. They're very, very different for me. Like, I don't own any pairs of shoes like this, but I really love them, you know. I think these are sick. Like, styled up with the right outfit. I think these would look absolutely amazing. She's delivered. These are so cute. Like, even with this outfit at the moment, so at the moment I'm wearing unusual black crop top from New Look, which has featured in quite a lot of my videos recently. And then I've just got my pink check trousers from Collusion from ASOS that I featured in an ASOS haul. Like, these would low key look amazing with them. I'm so happy right now. <coughs> I think these might actually be my favourite item. I love them. They're so cute. I love them. They're so chunky. Those are a win as well, for sure. They just look awesome to start up with dresses, with shorts, with a bit of everything. I'm into them, you know. I think they're really cool. It has everything in this box, as you can see. <laughs> my final verdict on the clothes. So in terms of these shoes, I am really digging them. I think they look super, super cool and they're a bit of me and they're something so different. I love these. I think I could style them so much stuff and it would just add a bit of an edge to an outfit, you know? This jacket, I'm a bit sort of, uh, I don't know if it's a little bit quirky, but well, I don't know if this is a little bit above board. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sort of like into it in a way as well, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure about it. With this tartan dress, I love this. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. I think this is so, so cute. If it doesn't quite reach the end of my ass area because I'm quite tall. I'm five foot seven. So if it doesn't kind of reach that sort of area, I could just wear some shorts underneath it or cycling shorts. I absolutely love this. I love the colorway. I just think this is a very, very versatile piece that I could wear over and over again, styled up with loads of different things and it looks sick. I absolutely love this to death as well. And then as for this, I have to be honest, this isn't a bit of me. Unless I could pull up like the granny chic look. I might try and sell this on Depop or return it just because I probably would never wear this. So I think I'm definitely gonna Depop this or return it. And then the camo trousers, I think I'm ever gonna Depop or return them just because I already have something so similar. But I love them, I love camo so much. If they were literally a different colorway, they'd have been perfect, like anything bright. Jess, if you're watching this, if you'd have got me those bloody orange camo trousers, I'd have been in love. And then with this, I am in love with this. I'm definitely gonna keep this. I think this would be so, so cute with just like pleather trousers. This is so cute and quirky. I'm all for this. I just really hope it fits well. <laughs> and then these shoes, which are just like red and black, these ones. I love them. I'm gonna be completely honest now. I love them, but I worry that I wouldn't get that much use out of them. I have like about two or three pairs of heels and I'm generally a bit concerned that they'd just be sitting there not being worn, but they're just so beautiful. Maybe, maybe I could make them work. I don't wanna send them back. They're too beautiful. They'd look cute. These would be so cute, like my birthday or something, like a really posh meal when I can go out for a meal again. Or like Christmas like Christmas dinner or something like that. This would be cute. Very festive as well. The thing is I want things to get worn. Like I don't want to just sit at the bottom of my wardrobe not being worn. Obviously I'm gonna do the little try on clip following this just so you can see everything on and what would be stuck with what and what her vision was.
So this is the first outfit. I'm assuming this is sort of like a glam going out sort of outfit. So this is the cardigan and shoes and I just paired it with this H&M skirt. I feel like the cardigan is very like Mrs. Doubtfire-esque if you see what I mean, like in the best way possible. I just said to my boyfriend, I was like, I'll oh, have a look at this outfit. And he said I look really, really cool. I, think I need to be a bit more girly sometimes. First thing that I'd say is this cardigan is like super, super, super good quality. The only thing is it doesn't quite reach right to the end of my arm. But as you can see, like the sleeves could do being a bit longer. So if you have long arms and long limbs in general, and you're a tall girl like me, then please bear that in mind when buying this. I think this would be such an amazing outfit to wear to a wedding or like if you're going to like it formal dinner or something like that i think this will be really really cute i do like the heels as well i think they're actually really really comfortable i'm not usually like the best person to walk in heels i'm a bit like of a tumbling mess when i walk in heels i just can't do it and i literally look like a child i actually am going to a wedding next year and i actually think these would be really really nice but obviously i've got to find the perfect dress to go with them i think this would look really really cool with some other outfit that's not this i actually really, really like shoes i think they're really cool but to be honest I don't know if the cardigan's for me. It's just sort of like a uh, business sort of outfit. It's like, you want time to go to work? It's like, what, 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 give me my This is the lockdown outfit, I presume, or like the outfit that I'd go to shopping. I am literally obsessed. This is such a vibe. I love, love, love this outfit. I can't explain how much I dig this. So this jumper is like super bad, super baggy super baggy super comfortable and it's really oversized my sort of such vibe i love 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 obviously the cargo trousers these are actually a bit more fitted than the ones that i own already so oh, i'm tempted even though they're like the same colorway as the other ones i love them with the fitted trousers i think it creates a really cool juxtaposition and then the trainers oh my god i love them they are amazing i love chunky trainers so much and these are cute i absolutely am obsessed with them and the platform is so cool as well this is everything this is my ideal look 100 percent this is sick. The quality of everything as well is amazing. I'm not all words, as you can clearly see. And these trousers are obviously amazing. Shame they're not, you know, <laughs> the uh, correct colour. But then the shoes are also very nice. They're very, very wide, but also very, very comfortable and quite roomy, which I'm digging. This is my sort of vibe. I feel like I can be girly sometimes, but this is like the ultimate my sort of look, like my sort of tomboy vibe. This is everything. I love this. This is like grunge to the max and <laughs> yeah, I just dig it. Everything just fits so well and it's really good quality as well. I'd highly, highly recommend everything for five pounds actually. I, I'd say the first stuff is actually amazing quality. I'm obsessed with this outfit, man. I just, I think it's just such a look. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it's amazing. <laughs> So this is the tartan dress with the white trainers. I'm assuming this is also sort of like either the surprise outfit or like the chill outfit. This is everything. The only thing that I feel is that like on the sides, because I don't know if you can see, but the sides are a little bit shorter. I think I'd probably just like flash my arse at everyone. So I'd probably wear like something under it or like some leggings or something. Or maybe even just like shorts. I'm feeling this. I think this is so, so cool. I love this. It's such a, like a chilled look. Like, I could just go into barbecue or something like that i think this is just gonna look epic and i'm so so happy i think this just looks so sick yeah as you can see my arse is literally just covered i'm probably gonna style it just wearing something underneath but i absolutely love this i just think this is a bit of me i love it <laughs> as well the dress is like the perfect fit like the sleeves are the perfect fit and the length probably could do being a bit longer but like i think i could easily get away with it as i said like it covers my arse so yeah I love, 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 love. So this is the jacket. <laughs> I think this is like meant to be like the surprise item. I don't know, I, I low-key feel like a CBBS presenter. And like the blue sleeves are just very oversized, but I don't know, I'm sort of digging it, you know. I don't know if I can pull off the CBBS presenter vibe or not, but I just paired it with a standard black crop top from New Look that I'm wearing literally every haul video. And then these, 
I'm not even oversized shorts, they're just long line shorts from ASOS and they've got like braces. I think that is also a bit of a presenter vibe. And then I've just got the trainers from before. I just don't low key love this look. I, I don't know. I sort of feel a bit weird for like loving it because it's so out there, like the jacket, but I sort of dig it. Like I think it's quite interesting like i don't own anything like it but it's really good quality it's definitely like a mix between a shirt and a jacket so it's i'd say it's definitely a jacket it's really quirky really fun something a bit different but will i wear it all the time i don't know <laughs> This is a hard decision. Please, someone help me in the comments because I literally cannot decide what I want to do with this jacket. Please let me know if it suits me and whether or not it looks good. Thanks. As I've said before, the collab I have done is with Simply Saving UK, also known as Jess, here on YouTube. But I'll leave all her details down below and you can see her reaction to the clothes that I bought her as well. I'll link a link to that down below as well if you want to check out her reaction to some of the stuff I bought her as well. Well, that is the end of my YouTuber friend buys my everything five pounds haul. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you loved it. Let me know in the comments which things you love and which things you dislike as well, because I really, really need some decisions to be made here. I'm so indecisive. <laughs> and as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I make more videos like this every single week. And please remember to hit notification bell to be updated on when I next upload. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!